Yeah, it's a very interesting one, Juliana, because um, this year might be might be one of the first years where, in fact, uh, um, Europe might be outperforming the U.S. We had a strong outperformance last year of the U.S. versus uh, Europe on the on the equity side, on the equity market side. If you look at uh, three factors, number one, uh, economic growth. Yes, economic growth is likely to be stronger this year than in the U.S. Number two, valuations. Clearly, valuations are more attractive in Europe, but the discount has even um, become wider last year than it is uh, uh, historically, so Europe versus the U.S. And then the third one, as you mentioned, uh, uh, monetary policy being more accommodating on a relative basis and much more cyclical orientation of the European markets versus the U.S. market. So all these factors might contribute to see an outperformance of Europe versus uh, the U.S. We are certainly in that camp. Lars, you also mentioned China as an outlier when it comes to monetary policy, um, but it almost feels as though monetary policy is secondary to the ways in which China is poised to diverge from um, countries in the West in the year ahead. This zero COVID policy, I keep coming back to it, that it seems um, you know, that the road ahead for China is so uncertain. Yes, they want to continue with this policy in the lead up to the Winter Olympics, but what then? Uh, how much visibility can we actually have on China, and could this turn out to be um, you know, a game changer, depending on what direction that China goes in the months ahead. Yes. In fact, the two things to that. The first one is monetary policy. The second one is fiscal policy, which uh, um, is likely to be, be, be loosened as well. So to support the economy, to support uh, uh, consumption. But then the other one is what you mentioned is the, the, the COVID policy. So the zero COVID policy, I think, was appropriate when you had a variance like the, the Delta. I personally think that uh, with a variant like Omicron, which is um, much more um, um, contagious than Delta, but also much more benign, um, I think the zero, zero COVID policy for that is just not appropriate. It, we won't be able to hold um, um, uh, Omicron in, in China. And therefore, I believe that after the Olympics, uh, the Chinese government will change tune on that and will start to abandon the zero COVID policy. 